Well, countdown's begun with just four races to go this season. It's starters all of six chase final. Relatively small field here of 13. So he's over two and a half miles in all to 160. Zoe Joy, Darren Thompson is number one. Doghouse, Dave Robinson is two. River Kemp, Carl Aragon, three. Wild Radiation for Stu Gray is four. Funky Sunset for Martin Needham is five. Tainty Tina for Stu Gray is six. Sistant Zoo for Kevin Meenhan is seven. Dan Bigger for Graham Clutterbuck is eight. Awesome Paddy for Stu Gray is nine. Winter Blues for Kevin Meenhan is ten. Record Plant for Martin Needham is eleven. Super Dreams is for Alex Jerry is twelve. And thirteen is Musso for James Follis. So just thirteen. And some trainers with double entries here, myself included, with actually three. So I'll be uh, trying to win this. I think I'll actually hold the hurdle final. I won it last year, but they're away here at Aintree for race 35. As we come towards the end of the season. And now, the end is near. And we face our final season. My friends, I'm not so sure if any of you would class me as a friend. No, not now. Not after Monday's comm. So we get to the first and everybody's over it. And it's River Kemp that leads us for Kyle Aragonty. Didn't say that's a front runner. But leads by about four to Doghouse the Grey against the fence. They get to the second. Everybody streams over that as well. Really poor jump in the rear by Musso. So Joy just sitting at the rear, but it's River Kemp over the third, as is everybody else. A, a poor jump there by Super Dreams this time. So River Kemp swings left-handed, leads them by about six to Citizen Zoo, Winter Blues, and Doghouse on the inside. They're followed through by Awesome Paddy, Wild Radiation, Funky Sunset. A few better jumps there to jump by Tainted Tina as well as Super Dreams. We've got the great Dan Big Up and just towards the rear of the three record plant Musso and Zoe Joy. But up front, River Kemp. It's by four. It's just Winter Blues and Citizen Sue as they go over the fifth. Everybody jumps out, slow jump there by I think Tainted Tina this time. Hard to tell when I've got three of my own in it. Let's see how well I do. But it's River Kemp. Still, from Winter Blues, Citizen Sue, there you one, two, three, then the Grey Doghouse. On the outside of that is Awesome Paddy now, and then Tainted Tina, and they're followed through by Citizen Sue and Wild Radiation. And a couple back to Super Dreams, Record Plant, Funky Sunset, Dan Bigger the Grey, and so Joy and Musso. So they go past that winning post. Take the seventh, which is halfway through the fences. So they have the water jump to come. Do. No, they don't. They're going to swing off left. And it's still River Kemp that leads them. Also, the rear is getting a little bit detached at the moment. He's probably four lengths off the lead. Or off the back of the pack, should I say. He's probably 15 lengths off the lead, but it's still River Kemp. His lead's been cut down to a couple now by Doghouse, then Citizen Sue, Wilson awesome Paddy Tom, Tainty Tina, and Wild Radiation all together. Winter Blues against the fence. The Grey Dan Bigger moving well on the outside. And we've got Record Plant, Zo Joy, Funky Sunset, Super Dreams, Musso at the rear. So just over a mile to travel. It's River Kemp. Advantage being eaten into now by Wild Radiation, who moves up into second. Dan Bigger's moving well on the outside. The Grey, now the Grey against the fence is Doghouse. Outside of that is Citizen Sue. We get to the eighth. Oh, we've lost one. Winter Blues has gone. Shipped its jockey. There's a little bit of a change up front as Wild Radiation just noses in front now with six and a half furlongs to go as they go over the ninth. The leaders are over it. And it's Wild Radiation and Dan Bigger now as Citizen Sue as River Kemp drops back a little bit into the pack. Doghouse is still there. They get to the tenth. They will take it well. And it's Wild Radiation and Dan Bigger as they swing left handed now. These two lead just by a length from Citizen Sue. River Kemp still sitting pretty on the inside. And the outside is Doghouse. The grey record plant looks like he's running a good race. So Joy Tainted Tin. A few of them going out wide now as we come inside the final half mile. But it's Dan Bigger that leads us from Wild Radiation pushing up on the outside of him now. Citizen Sue, River Kemp still in there. Awesome Paddy, Record Plant having a plum ride against the fence. But it's Wild Radiation and Dan Bigger and Citizen Sue. These three.
Superior are in a line as they come down to the three phones from home. They take the 12th while Radiation was slow over it. Dan Bigger jumped it well. So Dan Bigger leads by a length now from Citizen Zoo and Wild Radiation. They've got a couple of lengths on the chasing pack, which is being pulled along by Wilson Paddy and Zoe Joy. But up front inside the two now as they get over the penultimate, Dan Bigger takes that well and it's in between Dan Bigger and Citizen Sue. Unless Wild Radiation can crack on from here, he's going to have another go inside the furlong now. And it's Dan Bigger and Citizen Sue. These two are one two for the starters orders chase final we're inside the furlong it's citizen sue and dan bigger these two are neck and neck wild radiation on the outside a pull jump there by citizen sue is allowed dan bigger but here comes river camp again from the outside but inside the quarter it's dan bigger dan bigger takes it for grand clutter but good run on there by river camp third with citizen sue so a win for Graham Clutterback takes the start as always six chase final. Well done with Dan Bigger. Second was River Kent for Carl Arrigenti. Third was Citizen Sue for David Robertson. Oh no, third was, yeah, for Kevin Meanhan, sorry. Fourth was Doghouse for David Robertson. And fifth was Funky Sunset for Martin Leedham. Let's move on to the starters orders hurdle final.